Oh boy, it is 2 a.m. I can't wait to watch movies all day. <laughs> so, premise is I'm gonna try and watch as many horror movies as I can in 24 hours. We are watching Black Sunday first. I don't know why I'm doing this intro stuff because I have no idea what these movies are about, but uh, here we go. All right, well, uh, that was pretty good, I would say. I enjoyed a lot of the scenes and the set detail was really awesome. We got uh, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Should be like the uh, polar opposite. So uh, let's check it out. All right, that was Tucker and Dale. Uh, fairly entertaining. <laughs> Cute enough story, good morals, really makes you feel like you grew as a person. We're watching a girl walks alone in the dark. This one's pretty scary based off the cover, I don't know anything else about it. But uh, we'll see, it's an hour and 40 minutes long, so this may be the last one before I take a little nap after this. Wow, I thought that was going to be, like, way different. That was going to be a lot scarier. But it turned out to be pretty neato, so I would highly recommend this one. It'd be like a four, four and a half. I'd have to think about it a little bit, but I'll write my review here in a second. And then, um, it's, what, 7.22 a.m. right now. I'm going to take, like, a three-hour nap or so or trying to okay, okay, can't it's time to get some sleep we are watching the cabinet of dr calgary it's 11 32 a.m so i slept four or five hours so maybe a little bit longer than i should have but it felt good so uh deal with it Interesting. One I would definitely recommend watching on two times speed because it's a little slow, and I don't think I've ever watched a film where they have to cut to, uh, you know, the classic read what they're saying because sound was not invented in that time. So that was certainly a different experience. I would say eh, maybe like a three. I was certainly a bit tired still, and I was kind of falling asleep with the stuff. But maybe if it was on double speed, it wouldn't have been as bad. All the set stuff was really cool, but not a ton happened. It would be really interesting to watch this when it was originally made like 100 years ago. It would definitely be like, whoa, that's crazy, watching that way back then. So. Alright, we're doing Bird Boy and the Forgotten Children. Let us try and get an animated film in for today. That's back. I got my taquitos that you can't see in the dark. With some refried beans for breakfast. Wow, an animated movie? That's good, dude. That's crazy. I really enjoyed this. and It's probably the scariest one out of everything phenomena is up next here let's see where this swiss miss goes wow okay that's how you make a movie that was insane highly recommended and the song is crazy too on the credits oh my god okay i think this is a, a four and a half easily this is a movie movie and uh, we're watching House on Haunted Hill, or something like that. Well, that was kind of goofy. <laughs> it does feel like the basis for every Scooby-Doo episode, and so I think this probably inspired a lot of things, so I would give it props for that. Bones of Mom. Um. Really cool things in it. Mm -hmm. and obviously, like super influential and like almost everything I feel like, <laughs> like cops and how they operate. And... It took a long time for it to get interesting, I think. It's less of a mystery and more of a commentary, I guess. Yeah, I would more of a say. moral tale. So. And a police procedural in a way. Mm -hmm. and, but there were like maybe three moments where I was like, oh, this is going to be super creepy. And then, like, mm -hmm. Oh, this is, that was it. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, but the black and white was still looked cool and mm -hmm. still a lot of cool stuff. Kind of. 
This one looks really scary. Are you ready, Kiki? All right, the whaling. Let's see if this one is the, the terrifying one we need to round it out here. And that was pretty crazy. Kind of one of those ones where you don't really know what's happening. And you'll probably never know. But uh, I was entertained. That was a good roller coaster ride. Probably about a four for me. Again, one of those things I don't know. Like, if you knew the language more, if everything would make more sense with the culture. But, uh, you know, good enough for me. Good enough for me. Alright, last one, baby. Having a hard time just deciding what to do. I think it's like 11 p.m. right now, so might as well just do Halloween to wrap it up. Never seen it. It'd be fitting to do for the very first Halloween 24 hour movie marathon, so uh, might as well see what it's all about. See the culture. Well, alright, that sums it up there. Um, hmm, maybe a little anticlimactic for me. I guess I was expecting a little bit more, or like, I don't know, it felt kind of eye-rolly when things kept happening, but I guess, you know, this is Foundations of, of Horror in a fairly, you know, bare-bones kind of film, so can't expect maybe that much out of it. Again, Citizen Kane kind of style, laying down the groundwork, so I won't rant about it too much, but, uh, you know, it, it was elegant in certain capacities, so I respect it for that. There wasn't a whole bunch of anxiety or anticipation for me, it just, like, more waiting. <laughs> it didn't feel as maybe as antsy as maybe it should have been, but the music is and it will always be a pop, so. Alright, so here is the list from my favorite to least favorite ranked and how really excited I was while watching the film. Phenomena, easily number one. I give the Wailing second. Not that it's super, super amazing, but I was just very entertained while watching it. I'm going to give Bird Boy third. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night falls into fourth. Black Sunday entering the three and a half star territory was pretty entertaining for what it was. Same with Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. House on Haunted Hill is seventh. Halloween, low key, a bit disappointed by it, but it lands into eighth. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, that could honestly go above Halloween for me, but I was a little tired while watching that one, so I was a little bit more drowsy. And M goes into last. No disrespect to that film, I was just the least entertained by it, but I understand it has had a large influence on other films. So that is my final rating here. Overall, pretty fun experience, and I really did enjoy watching all these movies. Um, I would say you should probably maybe try this on your own sometime. It felt like it was three days wrapped into one, and I was pretty tired by the end of it to uh, recover. I would say definitely try it out. I would recommend uh, maybe all these movies on the top row, and then uh, these ones you could probably get away with not seeing, but you know, everyone has different tastes, so check all of them out. I don't think any of them were so abhorrent that you should not watch them. Um, and of course, this is just my opinion, and that was some sort of value to them. So if I were to do this again next year, which I think I will, or you know, a 24 hour movie marathon of any type, I would definitely try and scale up the scare factor a little bit. None of these had my heart like pumping out of my chest profusely. Um, the Wailing had some kind of scary moments in them, but uh, none of them were like, oh my god, I'm the edge of my seat vomiting, and I kind of wanted to get to that level. I would say Bird Boy was actually the scariest film as far as how some of the themes go, despite its cute appearance. So Bird Boy will get the award for most scary. And then, as I said, The Wailing probably got my heart rate up the most. And then Phenomena was the one I liked the most. I could see how a lot of people might dislike this movie, but I would recommend that one a lot if you are into over-the-top movies like I am. So if you like Possession or I can't think of any other films right now, but it reminds me of Possession a lot. That's one of my favorite films. So if you like upping the ante times a million, then that is the film for you. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have too much else to say. Go out there, watch the movies, enjoy Halloween, everyone. And this is Matt signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you ghouls later.